suggested. That Hill had confessed, or rather had made admissions, to be more precise. You do not need a schedule for that. You do not need a schedule. Go on. May I make it clear why you need a schedule? You have to have a schedule like this if you're being dishonest, is the suggestion. So, this is a blueprint for a completely false case to be put forward by the police witnesses of the trial. That is right. And it successfully hoodwinked everybody. Mr. Reed, just coming back to you, what is this entry all about? Well, I, I can't tell you. Not at the moment. Your position, then, in charge of the inquiry was this, was it not? That it was all very properly handled. Is that right? Yes. No violence, no intimidation, no threats, no guns, no dogs, nothing. That is right. All done according to the book. Yes. So, it appeared as though you got six men, giving you a lot of detail in some cases, though not much in others, as to one, their movements, and two, the fact that they had done it. That is right, yes. But the detail dries up when it comes to the actual planting of the bombs, does it not? In the statements? There's not much in these statements about... Uh, very little, no. So, as the officer in charge... To which we... ground of appeal is this directed? I don't seem to be very interested in the planting. I get the impression the judges are interrupting the defense barristers rather more than they're troubling the crown. Perhaps there's too many people watching. In my experience, when the British own up to a mistake, they prefer to do it in private. You must hope for a miracle. They got slip away. Still with forensics, Chris. They can't get around that. We'll see. I don't think that Dr. Skews can usefully contribute to our knowledge about the planting of the bombs. Should you need me, I'll be in Dublin. We're walking later here. I know what. It's the Irish Times, Jerry. I believe we're innocent. Tell him, Gareth. Jerry thinks he's going home. Maybe he's right. The policewoman, Joyce Linus, is going to change her evidence. I answered the phone. I don't usually give my name and number when I answer. The person on the other end said, is that Mrs. Linus? I said yes. He said, don't forget you have children. Did you say anything? I asked who it was and there was no answer. When you appeared before their lordships last week, did you tell this court all the evidence which you could have given? No. Why did you not? I was too frightened to. What did you omit to tell this court on the last occasion? That there were armed officers with guns in the cell block area. On one occasion when I went to one of the interview rooms upstairs, I saw one of the defendants being assaulted. What did you see? When the door was opened, one of the defendants was standing up. There were at least three officers in the room. There was one in front of the man and one on either side. As the door opened, one of the officers said something and then kneed the man in the groin while the other two held his arms. Did you hear what was said or the effect of what was said. He said, this is what we do to fucking murdering bastards. Forensics. Everything you could possibly need. Not how 1% sort of again, 0.1%. My money's on the policewoman. Oh, Chris, incidentally, is in Ireland. 
Stand by for a last minute appearance by the Lone Ranger. 0.01%. Dr. Skews. Dr. Skews. 1% is in the letter sent by the director of the laboratory to the world in action scientists. You are claiming that 1% is there because you thought his request did not relate to the Birmingham bombings case, but to contemporary use of the formula by the laboratory. He did not tell me he wanted the formula for an appraisal test in the Birmingham bombings. He didn't have to, did he? You have already agreed that the obvious case to which he was referring was the Birmingham case. You have agreed to that. I agree with that. Therefore, if your director is asking about the formula, even at this level, it has got to be about the Birmingham case. It doesn't have to be. But in this case, it was. And you knew that, did you not? Not for certain. 99%? I agree with that. <laughs> One or two things about your book I didn't like, Mr. Mullen. You mentioned my fiance. There was no need to bring her into it. And you have me leaving Birmingham early 75. That's wrong. I stayed on for nearly a year. I'll correct that. You say nothing about the central allegation I make about you in the book that you and the young guy planted the pub bombs. We could talk about it in the third person if it would help. Or if you want to deny it, I'll solemnly write down everything you say and publish it. But I would have to state, I don't believe you. The phones were checked at four o'clock. Collected the bombs at 7.30 from the adjutant's house, Bordsley Green, 23 Carlton Street. You walked into town, gave the young guy the gun. He bought the drinks at the tavern. You bought them at the Barbara Bush. After the planting, the young guy went home. You walked down Digworth, rendezvoused with the maker. When he went to ring the warning, the phone was broken, both of them. Finally got through just after eight. Minutes later, the first bomb exploded. Three minutes later, the second one went off. The six. Couldn't tell the police where the bombs were planted. Because they didn't know. You do. I challenge you to deny it was you. <laughs> 